All right, welcome back to our final tutorial here. Uh, I know it's been a little bit of a struggle. I apologize for making many mistakes, but I think we've gotten to a point where we at least have some understanding of what we're trying to accomplish here, and we've got something that looks decent. Obviously, the you know, with more diligence done, um, we'd have a lot more of a, uh, a better looking grid, as well as the cars would be fixed to the road, but. Moving on, we're now going to walk around the scene, um, and I am going to first, uh, I've got no camera in my scene right now, and under my standard assets, which I've already brought in, I brought in my characters, and under prefabs, I'm just going to drop in an FPS controller, and I'm going to make sure that both are selected so that I can just kind of position this into my scene. And I'm just going to kind of start... Uh, right on the sidewalk here, right on the corner of Main, and then we'll just kind of rotate everything just a little bit so we're looking out. Um, and our FPS controller automatically brings in a rigid body, but now we're going to need we're going to obviously need to avoid falling through our mesh, and so I'm going to add a physics component, which is a mesh collider. To our game map and right away um, this is already gonna work if I hit play I am standing tall in my scene I'm obviously standing a little bit too tall so let's first adjust the height of my my character something a little bit tinier just do like point Point five here, and let's preview. Still fairly ginormous. Let's go even smaller. All right, good enough. So you'll notice right away you can walk around in your game, even though I'm a giant right now. But the problem is, is I can currently walk through any building I want. And that's because the mesh collider is only attached to the game map. And anything that I want to collide with, I'm going to need to basically, I mean, I guess that's everything. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to add a mesh collider to what I hope I just added everything and I think I did so now if I play my scene here I should yep I'm bumping into trees and buildings and all sorts of things um, oh getting hit by cars even which is kinda crazy but yeah so now I'm walking around my scene and the only thing I need to do different is adjust the scale of the whole thing clearly. Didn't come in. Um, I just went to game map, scale, and just scaled that up a little bit. And now, now we're about person size. My trees are a little tiny. Uh, but I am now walking around inside of my world, seeing cars whiz by. Um, and now we're going to add some sound to this, make it feel even more real. I like, like that idea. Um, so in my FPS controller, I have added a, well, I haven't added anything yet. It comes with an audio source, but I'm going to add a new component, which is a audio listener. And then in my game map, um, I'm going to just going to go in each of my cars. And on all three of them, I'm going to add an audio source. And in my audio source, um, you want to make sure that your priority, um, you know, zero is extremely high. But if we ever wanted to have music in this or other sound effects, we want to make sure that that priority doesn't override them. So we're going to keep it a little bit on the lower end. Get the volume down just a little bit so it's not overpowering. And uh, the big one is spatial blend. We really want this to be three-dimensional, which means that 
we can set down here in our 3D settings um, very realistic sound, which is really cool. Um, right now, if we take a preview here, what I'm seeing these little circles around my cars, and that is the minimum distance. That means that that's at minimum how, how close you have to be to the car to hear it. But you can see we can't see our max distance because that means that these things are just giant right now. In fact, you can see it over there. So I'm going to actually take this all the way down to five. You'll notice now we've got this, this sphere that you have to be in in order to hear the car. Um, and I'm just going to take for my audio clip, I'm just going to take this, I brought in this humming noise I just downloaded from YouTube. Um, and I'm going to add that in there for each of the cars. And let's go back into our scene and try it out. Whoa, how about that? Pretty realistic, right? I even have the, the Doppler shift going on so that the, the pitch of the sound effect changes as it whizzes by. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, this can be things just playing in your game as part of your game. You got to watch out for cars. Maybe it's called, maybe we create a game where it's called Cross the Street. And you try to cross the street without getting hit by a car. I don't know. But anyway, this has been a not so quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Thanks for staying tuned. I hope you learned a lot about the Cinema 4D to Unity workflow and understanding how to create this base map um, and get something cool started. Um, the only thing you're hearing now is my sound has stopped. So just make sure that you um, have kept your sounds uh, looping. And then no matter what, it will always continue to work. So thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. Please ask questions. Uh, please give me criticism. I won't take it um, the wrong way. I know that this wasn't perfect, but thanks a lot for watching and take care.